Welcome to my train room and to the introductory video for my big build contest entry. I will be scratch building a grain elevator and feed company. Those of you who follow my channel will already have seen this structure, but I make no apologies for repeating myself because several people have asked for more footage. So here you are. I'm not going to be making an exact copy of any one prototype structure. Instead, I'm going to be taking features from several different grain elevators and combining them into a structure that will fit my space. So follow along. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like what I have to build. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the materials I'm going to be using. I have most of the raw materials here on my workbench. The first thing we need for the grain elevator tubes is two inch PVC water pipe. This is not the actual piece I'm going to be using. I need a whole five foot length and that would be rather cumbersome on my workbench. So this is just a representative sample. Then I need plain sheet styrene in several different thicknesses ranging from 5 thou to 80 thou. I have Helgen corrugated roofing. I have JTT concrete block sheet. I have a drawer full of styrene strip of various shapes and sizes and also some styrene tube. I'm going to be using Titchy 8046 windows. There will also be a variety of other detail parts and miscellaneous bits and pieces from my scrap box. I don't know exactly what I'll be using yet. A lot of it will just be made up as I go along. One of the rules of the contest says that I have to mark a roof panel. Other videos that I've seen haven't done so, but I'll follow the rules anyway. So here we are. I am... M R O com big build contest version 2 2017 all right there's my mark when i first made the decision to build a concrete elevator I was a little concerned that my building might be a little too small to justify the expense of the concrete construction. So I went online and I looked for pictures of the real thing. And if you see on the left here, here is a really tiny four tube elevator. It's only about two stories high with a very short head house. And on the right, there's a really tall elevator, but it's only two tubes. Here's another view of the other side of it. Now this one is obviously a collection elevator as evidenced by the dump shed over the road and the bolt loading tube on the rail side. And this is the exact opposite to what I'm doing. But at least it proves that small concrete elevators were built. So I don't have to worry that mine is too small to be believable. Here's some more pictures that I used for inspiration. The one on the right here has an interesting shaped head house, although I didn't go with that. But if you look closely, you'll see the round tube and the rectangular bit in the middle sticks out just a little bit. And I thought that'd be really interesting. Most of them have the flat concrete panels blending in smoothly, like this one over here. So I've done it you know, once each way at the two ends. This one on the left I found particularly interesting because the dust collection systems are really awesome here. And although this one is a, is a slightly larger insulation, I can get rid of this half altogether. And what I'm left with is about the right size. So I've got this regular cyclone vent here with a tube to some kind of apparatus here and this extra little cylinder here I think that's all really interesting. So that's what I'm going to duplicate on my model. Well, so much for the introduction. Now I need to start building the structure. Since 15 minutes on part two is not going to be quite enough time to show you everything I want to, let's just get a bit of a head start now. Last night I did get the first few components assembled. 
I wasn't able to use the styrene cement for the PVC tube so I used this uh, goop it works quite well I have had problems with it distorting thin styrene there's no sign of distortion here with the 80 thou and if it does distort in the next couple of weeks before I finish the structure I will just either fill it or put a another piece on top another piece of thin styrene anyway I needed to make sure that the tubes were parallel I don't have a regular caliper so I came up with this method I put my yardstick along here in two squares don't know if you can see it from there it was a slight twist I have to wedge this piece in here to get them the right distance apart anyway the next task is to get the flat sections in well that's probably enough of a head start I think 15 minutes is long enough to show you what I need to in the next part and by stopping there I'll be able to keep all the interesting stuff into the same video so bye for now and I hope you'll check out part two thanks for watching